Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is the world of Wayne. It's been an age, but now we've got another Diagostini Star Wars R2-D2 Issue 9. Okay, I'm fully aware I haven't had a video out in well over a week. A uh, couple of things which have caused that. I was on vacation last week, so that was cool. Um, the other thing is I want to give you some news about Diagostini, which you should never, ever do, and I fell into the trap. Um, I was paying for my subscription of R2-D2 by card, uh, but I chose that all my other things, like the DeLorean, Star Wars helmets, the Marvel collection, are uh, paid by direct debit, so I changed my payment option to direct debit. That meant that they skipped... The delivery of these things when they first come out so I've had the supplemental run which is why I'm like two or three weeks behind everybody else and by the sound of it it's gonna be every month from this date of this delivery now so which means I'm always gonna be later than everybody else so if you want to keep on top of the uh, the build and stuff like that don't change your payment method it's just not worth the hassle let's have a look at the uh, items that we've got this time though so we've got uh, more bits of the top that we're going to be working with here and let's look at a magazine uh, have a quick skip through there uh, a little bit George Lucas there uh, let's put that over there some of the props and stuff like that ooh concept designs for droids <laughs> very good all the little plastic bits that get melted down to make the uh, unit and this is basically what we're going to be building now and again as I keep saying I'm going to superimpose this so you can see exactly what we're doing and it looks like I'm bringing across what we've already done uh, to get this uh, completed and that's the last bit there so this is looking to be a good build I've heard the next four are quite quick and quite easy that uh, remains to be seen but we'll see hope you like this video Okay, the first thing I noticed, these are all the pieces that we've got here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces. Um, they haven't done what they've done last time, which is include screws. So we have got to use the other screws, which came in the, uh, the last issue. So you need to dig them back out again. Uh, the other thing that it wants me to do is uh, get some of the parts that we used last time as well. Now I've got these over here, and this is one of the parts that we already used, uh, which it wants me to, uh, the first stage, is to uh, put this onto this bit here. Now this is going to be held in, I don't know if it goes in a certain way actually, I'm trying to, yeah it can only go in one way, it can only go in that way there, you see, because they've got notches on the ends there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this to one side and we'll get these in. Now the way we connected the last one in, as you can see, this uh, these little brackets here, I put it from underneath. So we're going to continue that theme over this side, it's going to go underneath, just like that, make sure the holes are lined up, and it's secured with silver screws again. Now the silver screws, because <laughs> in the instructions, I'll, I'll tell you actually, I'll read you exactly what it says in the uh, in in the guide. It says, um, blah, 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 blah. and four more of the silver screws you fit used to fit the first connector. Now they wasn't specific when they did that last time because we have got a couple of silver screws. We've got. I'm going to try and show you on this other camera here. Uh, we've got these ones here which are quite long and we've got these ones here which are quite short and it's these ones here the short ones which are to be used so use the short ones not the long ones people <laughs> let's get these in hopefully these go in nice and easily yep lovely jubbly I can live with that anything that's easy compared to what the hell we've been going through with the DeLorean let's get these screws out and trying to get screws in I do believe that's put a lot of people off the DeLorean. Um, a lot of my friends who have been doing this build and the DeLorean have actually uh, stopped doing the DeLorean, but uh, I am persevering because I love that car. But what do you want to hear about DeLoreans for when we're building R2-D2s? <laughs> I've only got one spare screw here. I think this is the, uh, the thing that Diagostini fad in a little bit when I'm talking about long screws and all of that at least Eagle Moss you know mark the screws up with letters uh, you don't get that luxury with the Agostini uh, but that's basically that section here and that completes steps one two three four and five <laughs> just like that okay uh, the next stage I'm going to put this to one side now because we're going to be on stage six we're going to be bringing this piece over again and this is where we got to on the uh, big build here 
Uh, we're going to be adding the last bit in, uh, which is this bit here. And that's just going to be going in just like that. Now, this is screwed in uh, with the nuts. <laughs> use two more nuts and the bolts. So, I know I use the complete wrong terminology for what's a nut and what's a bolt. <laughs> So I'm not going to do that again. So we need one of the... Uh, let's get this right. Okay. We need one of the... Nuts. <laughs> That's a nut. And one of the bolts. We actually need two of these. So let's get two out. One. Two. And another... Nut. There you go. Got it right that time. <laughs> Right, okay, so let's get these in. Hopefully this is nice and simple. Basically what we're doing here to get this bit completed should be six, seven, and eight. Step six, seven, and eight. Now I put the nut in first. God, I'm getting better with this. Okay, turn it over. And we get the bolt in this other side here. And I'm holding it down with my thumb so that that bolt doesn't turn see, oops, so the nut doesn't turn when I'm screwing it in and I'll get this bit in here see this goes in lovely and smoothly and I'm hoping that I've got that perfectly lined up so you can see what I'm doing there, oops I'll do it that way it's hard to do when I'm conscious that I want you to be able to see it on camera you see but, there we go that's that bit done, so that's uh, six, seven, eight done and now we're bringing this piece back over and we're going to be attaching this piece with the things down this is step nine and we're going to be putting uh oh hang on they want this bit at the bottom here because this bit's gonna match it on this side like that i'm guessing somehow that looks about right yep and it sort of sits in quite perfectly without the bolts at the moment, but that's how that's going to be. You can feel it clicking in, actually, as the uh, some of these anchor points go into the bottom base there. Uh, press the framework into location, making sure that all locating pins on the frames fit into the holes in the top ring. So that's definitely the right way around. If you want to just... Uh, where the gap is, is where you've got this lip in the uh, metal ring there. And we're going to fit a nut into the first hexagonal recess on the framework. So it wants a nut in this first bit here. Let's uh, get the nuts out again. Now this is why we've got so many nuts. So I'll get one of these and one of these. They are, um, they're not starting at that bit, to be honest with you. Where are they starting? Oh no, they are starting that bit. Either way, it's got to have a nut in here eventually, so we might as well get it in. Uh, so the nut goes in. This is step 11. On this side here, I'm going to hold it with my finger, just like last time, turn it over, and we're going to secure that in on this side, which goes into this hole right there. Let's get that in. I can feel it jiggling around on the other side with my hand, but that is the first one in. Uh, holding that in place and tighten the screw into the underside and I believe we're going to be doing this all the way around to the bits that I've got the uh, nuts in. Quite a few. Um, we've got There's 12 apparently, I've just read that. As a matter of fact, I'm just going to tip all of these out now. Uh, once I've done all 12 of these, that will be all the way up to step 15 done. So, I guess, I'm going to put this side in next. That way... Uh, Get in there. This one's not sitting properly, so. Hmm. There you go, it is now. Um, I guess you're going to be watching me put all 12 in. <laughs> this is, this is going to be pretty boring to watch, I'm guessing. <laughs> so by all means, if you want to forward it, then forward it here. But, uh, yep, 12 are going round. And I'll put them in. And while I'm doing that, I'll just talk about some of the things that are current affairs that have been going on at the moment. Obviously, uh, Monday just gone in England, um, Rogue One was released on Blu-ray. Um, absolutely great film, I really enjoyed that. So it's nice to see it out there. And have you guys seen the um, big sleeve editions? They look like LPs of uh, Blu-rays 
and they've got um, special editions, they've even got photo prints in there. You know, if they put the soundtrack in there as well, it makes me want to think, shall I get rid of all my Blu-rays and get all big sleeve editions? Because apparently vinyl is coming back. Not that that's vinyl, but I, I mean, I used to have laser discs and they used to come with the big sleeve. Uh, and the artwork's amazing on them, and I think that's pretty much what downloads of today miss, that you haven't got something physical to touch, and you haven't got the extravagance of the really glorious artwork that can be seen on the big LP size sleeves and stuff like that. Uh, and perhaps for that reason, that's perhaps why vinyl's coming back. Um, But unfortunately, those Blu-ray discs, rather than cost, I don't know, 12 to 15 pound, uh, the one I saw for Rogue One was 22 pound. So that's a lot of money. Oops, dropping the screws. Um, but they are still really, uh, really nice. Uh, what else has been going on? Uh, London Film and Comic Con's coming again soon. That's at the end of July. I booked up to see that so I can meet Thomas Wilson. Who was the other guest? Someone else has just been announced. I thought, oh yes, I want to meet them. Oh, Tia Carey from Wayne's World and uh, Relic Hunter and True Lies. I'd like to meet her. So, that's something I'm going to be doing soon. Um, pretty much it at the moment. And other than that, along with my normal day job, I'm building lots of things here. We're almost there. We've got another two to do. Oops. <laughs> this thing definitely ain't coming off. <laughs> they definitely put see, uh, put pay to that ever coming off. I just hope I put it on the right way, because if I haven't, then... Uh, yeah, it's the right way. If I haven't, I've got to take 12 off. <laughs> see, almost there. We've just got this last one here. Get the nut in there. Okay. Almost there. Now, as I said, this takes us to uh, episode 50, and that's the completed frame done. And what you need to make sure is, make sure that all of those holes, uh, or, or this has been seated correctly in this. You shouldn't have any gaps between that black and the silver there. But that is pretty much what that looks like. So, that's the top piece done. We're not finished there. We've got something else to do. We're going to be building the projector unit. So for this, we're going to need this piece, DF27. We're going to need, uh, oh god, this like lens piece. We're going to need this piece here. We're going to need the back piece. And it's all going to be secured with two little black screws by the look of it. <coughs> now they're self-tapping screws. But as I said, this issue doesn't come with screws. So we've got these screws here. They're little black ones. Um, and the other ones, I'm just going to see if there is any other black screws that they've sent us. So we're not going to get confused. Right, they have sent us another black screw. But I've only got one of them, which looks like that. So I'm going with the fact that it must be these little ones that it wants me to put in. If it's not, then I'm a screw missing. So I'm not quite sure what we're going to have to do there. But basically we're going to be putting the lens part in like that. Simple as that, just in like that. Uh, the next part so is going to be the... Uh, oh god, where are we now? Make sure it fits flush with the surround, which it does. Okay. Funny enough, in the picture here, this bit is blue. As you can see, but on this it's uh, silvery, which is interesting. Okay, uh, next bit, this one's going to be going around. This is going into the top of this. So that goes in like that. And then the last piece will be going on... Oh God, let's have a look. Uh, this way around, with this bit here. This We're up to step six now, going into here like this. Now this is going to secure somehow to those bits there but it's got to be a certain way round I believe because I can rotate this so they've got theirs slightly off centre to that they've got theirs sort of like that way round so when I screw this in like that this bit's going to be sort of off centre to this notch here I don't know if that's right or not but we'll see but let's see if these uh, black screws fit into it we can get these screws in that's part 11 done and then that will be uh oh let's tip them out that will be this issue done so i've just dropped a screw in there let's see if these are the ones uh yep they're the ones i'm not quite sure what that longer one's used for i've obviously used it in the past so 
Let's get the last one in there. You can tell they're self-tapping because they're going quite tight, but they uh, they do go in very smooth. There you go. Okay. Oh, I suppose the good thing is that now I've secured this bit, that bit will eventually come out of there. So no matter how you have it, you've got like a little focusing thing, I guess. There. Don't know how that's going to work, but uh, that's how that looks. And that's how that looks there. And that is the end of issue nine. So. Uh, Next issue, coming in issue 10, we've got these pieces here. I have got all three issues, but I am going to slow down the release of the videos because I don't want to swamp you guys with videos, especially if you're building this alongside with me. I'm so sorry this has been late this month, but uh, I don't know how I can fix that now. Uh, Diagostini, if you're watching this, please uh, have pity and start sending me on time for a change. But that is Diagostini's Build Your Own R2-D2 issue 9.